Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to flower season. So in today's video, we are going to be mulching uh, the flower beds in the front yard and we are going to be planting caladiums. Uh, the caladiums that I have are from last year. I didn't buy any new ones this year. Uh, we ended up saving them at the end of the and at the end of last year and <laughs> we put them in crates in the basement and they overwinter very beautifully so we're gonna plant them today this year i didn't buy mulch from ohio mulch because we've had um, th there's two reasons one uh, last year i had a accident in the truck and i was fine but we got the truck repainted uh, insurance paid for a little bit and then Carlos pay for the rest of the car to get painted and now he doesn't want it to be scratched by you know mulch falling down because they they use a uh, tractor to put it in the back of your truck uh, so he doesn't want to get a scratch <laughs> and uh, we also had issues with the quality of the mulch uh, not being very dark and not being like it it what the dye that they put it was so fresh that it would bleach really fast with the sun so bags are the way to go from now on uh, as you guys can see the mulch looks really nice very dark um, so yeah those are the two reasons <laughs> but the garden is looking so beautiful oh my goodness and look I don't know where all the mulch goes every year it I can see little bits of mulch, but other than that, I don't know where all of the mulch goes. It kind of like disintegrates. <laughs> uh, look at this one. Like there's a little bit of mulch and we usually put a lot of mulch, mulch on our flower beds, uh, but I, re I really don't know where it goes. <laughs> Anyways, Carlos is making a trench right here before we finish mulching this area. That way we can plant the caladium. So another thing that I did that I didn't really think of is was um, putting the names of the caladiums in the crates. And now I've forgotten. I don't know what is what on each crate. So um, there's two varieties. I have the Caroline Wharton caladium, which is like a pink caladium with... Uh, um, green and white veining super pretty and oh my gosh look at the caladiums they overwinter in the basement really nicely we just put them to dry when we pulled them out of the ground last year we put them to dry and after a week we put them in the crates with vermiculite and they did amazing fantastic anyways <laughs> the other variety I have is Florida Fantasy, which is a white caladium with pink veining and it's beautiful. So one side has that one and the other side has the other. I don't know which side is going to have which, but you know, it's going to be a uh, surprise for all of us. <laughs> and I only put a little bit of rose tone uh, fertilizer and I'm just putting a little bit of the organic miracle Grow um, in ground uh soil <laughs> and every year I see these caladiums and I'm like oh they're not gonna pop up but they usually do and they do fine you know they they they're like little tiny dried up roots and <laughs> they look like nothing but they end up being really beautiful every year oh I really love the way everything's going oh my gosh it's so beautiful I can't believe it's already summer I can't <laughs> but yeah oh I hope you guys like this video I hope I inspire you guys to go out there and buy a few bags of mulch oh I do want to mention that I we uh, ended up buying 15 bags of mulch and that's we use all 15 of them for this area I didn't want to forget because I know people like to compare with the size of their garden so 15 bags of mulch that we spent uh, in this area. All right, guys. I hope you guys like this video and see you till next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>